Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I've got some great little Easter treats from our friends at Scrap and Eek. These are the most adorable little Easter egg box shaker dies, okay? So they're not technically box, they're more just like a little shaker, but uh, that's the name of them. So we have number one, number two, and number three. Okay, they are all available at paperwishes.com and we'll have all the links and the money savers um, uh, for you on our website if you're watching us on our vlog page uh, or at uh, YouTube. Just look below in the description box. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how these work. So this is the number two one and they come, it comes just like this. You get one set, okay, and each one has a little piece of thick plastic right here and what you're gonna do is just evacuate each one okay that's gonna be the front this one is the back the base and then you've got these little outline pieces Ugh. okay so these are the pieces you're actually gonna use to construct these little pieces I'm gonna show you what to do with later so don't throw those away all right, so the first thing we're going to do is you could color this or line it with some scrapbook paper um, or just patterned paper. And then you're going to just stack them depending on how thick the shaker material is. If you're just doing sequins, you could just do one layer. If you're doing something a little thicker, do two layers. And you're going to put this little plastic piece there. And then depending on which side you want this to go on, that right there and then you've got your little shaker and you can see how how they call it a box it's got a little hollow point okay so here is one that my friend Debbie made so cute she used all three designs on this card put it on a slim line card and she also used some lawn fawn um, stencils in the background so I'll show you how to create that background what did she color these with okay she used these great Spectrum Noir glitter pens, okay? These are fabulous, but I also wanted to show you a couple of other things before I start um, assembling this with the shakers and coloring. Um, you can color these little guys with ink pads. Here we've got some new ones. These are shimmer ink pads from Prism. You could paint them with Delusions, oop, upside down, Delusions paints. And we've also got, from Cosmic Shimmer, the opal polishes. These would be great. So I'm going to put these all in our drop-down menu below our video on paperwishes.com. And um, if you want to just look at some other things to color them with, but coloring them with these pens, if I can get these out. <laughs> there we go. Coloring them with the pens was just an easy take on this. Why is this so hard? Oh, duh. Okay. Got our little tray here. And we're just going to color just this top piece right here. So let's color, she did hers with gold, but let's do pink. All right, got a little bit of a shake here. And you'll notice as you color these, what great glitter effect they have. These pens are amazing. So much cleaner than painting. And I love that you can get all the little details here. So you get that idea here, see if we can pick up that glitter look, that shimmer, so cute. All right, so let's also take a quick look at, let's do one of the ink pads. Grab my craft mat. So if you were gonna do an ink pad, this color is Flamingo Paradise. Okay, and this one you can just kind of blot and we'll give it a little scrub. There we go. Oops. This ink pad also has a really nice shimmer to it. Okay. All right, so then Debbie recommended 
you can take these and they have little tags on the little tabs where you kind of punch them out. And we just have a really nice sanding block here that you can get at Paper Wishes and you just sand those right off. And that's just brilliant, there we go. All right, and then on the back of this, we can cover that with paper or we could also just ink that as well. So let's just do it quickly and we're just gonna ink it. This color is Ocean Spray. It's also a beautiful shimmer. Go. Once again, I'm just going to take my little here. Well, because I didn't let my ink dry, I'm going to have it all over my fingertips. Well, it's just the price of crafting. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of glue. This is Cosmic Shimmer. And we don't actually need to worry about sanding off these pieces. You just want to make sure you get a really nice boundary there of your glue. Okay, now Debbie put in hers, her little egg, she did the Easter egg sprinklets, and they're nice and thin. I mean, they're just wafer thin. Um, so you don't have to use all the layers. If you want to use something a little bit chunkier, like these sprinklets, these are rainbow, and they have lots of little chunky things in them the more layers you would want. And we're going to go ahead, do all of our layers. I should also mention that on Debbie's eggs, after she covered, colored them with the glitter pens, the back piece that I colored green, she used the gingham number two paper pack, and she just did a different color to coordinate. A yellow on the back here, a pink, and a purple. All right, now we're going to put in our sprinklets. Come on. Boy, package opening is not my thing today. Oh, well, it helps when they're taped. And really, you just need to take like a hefty pinch of stuff in there. Another little boundary of glue. And then normally you would let this dry pretty well before you did any shaking because little bits of glue can squirt out and you don't want your shaker material to get stuck there. But you know I'm going to shake it right away because I want you to see how it works. Okay. Isn't that cute? Just love it. And those little eggs are just perfect. All right, eggs inside of eggs. Grab my next card idea here. Oh, no, I was going to show you how to do that background. So I've got my card here, great slimline card. And then from um, Lawn Fawn, I've got the hillside stencils. It comes with multiple stencils here to give you this grassy hillside right here. And then we've got this cloud, so we've got the cloudy stencil as well. For this, we used for the grass, she used the evergreen prism ink pad and also the olive. And for the sky, she used the sage gray. So let's start with our hillside. What you want to do is you want to start with the top edge of the grass. Now, you guys, we just got these in. Well, at least we might have had these in for a little while, but I just discovered them in the warehouse. They are more blender brushes. And we have a set of three that are larger. I think the smallest of our other blender sets ends with this one. So you, you get another one of these, and then you get these other really great small size ones. I love these. 
these are wonderful. And I was so happy that they came in. And it's like, nobody told me. Why didn't anybody tell me that they came in? All right, so we're gonna do that first layer of grass. I'm not gonna go all the way across. All right, so that's our first, first layer, okay? And then we've got, we can do another kind right here. We can use the evergreen, something just a little bit darker. Like that. And then we can actually do the top edge of this one. Use a little bit more of that evergreen. Even just go over that right there and get this great looking grassy hillside, which is fun. All right. Don't forget to clean off our brush. It just took one time for me to like grab a brush that was already used with ink on it and then try to put yellow on something after I had blue on it. And now I know, Wop, wipe off those brushes immediately. All right. So we've got that, and we're going to do our cute little clouds. Grab a smaller brush for that. Got the sage green, that one. Just a little bit, oops, down the edge. Like that. And then she just kind of moved that stencil like that. Get this great varied cloud background. Okay. So let me show you some other really cute things. Oh, great. So for this one, Debbie used a center step card. There we go. These come already pre die cut, pre folded. Um, they're from hot off the press, you know, paper wishes. So all you have to do is decorate them. And for her paper pack, Debbie uses used the adorable dotted dose number two, the pink, the teal, and the purple. She also used some cute Easter dazzle stickers. And they come in a pack like this, all these different finishes. Debbie used this brushed um, gold, well actually it's pearlescent gold. So she's got the border here, this adorable little chick right here that she backed with some ivory. Um, and then did her little greeting here. She made a little rectangle and then backed these as well. So cute, just left the border as is. And then how did she do her egg? She used the Easter egg number three for this one and she used a combination of things she used a wow clear embossing ink pad mine is pretty dirty there um, and then she used the super fine gold embossing powder and did a first layer of beautiful embossed embossing there and then she heated that with a heat gun and then she just double embossed it. She did more of the clear embossing on it and then sprinkled this gold tinsel, which is amazing to get this beautiful shimmer. Why did she do the double embossing? We find that sometimes the gold tinsel, um, it doesn't cover like completely. We have to do multiple layers of it um, to get this really vibrant color. So, you know, this is more expensive than this. So why not put a layer down of the inexpensive gold and do a top layer of the more expensive one? Just, you know, a way to stretch that, save the good stuff, right? All right, so that is cool. What? This is so cute. Remember how I said, don't throw away those little insert pieces, because this is what Debbie did with those. Um, she covered each of these Patterned paper, of course, her background is from Gingham Papers number two, this wonderful gray gingham right here. And then the little ones right here, she went back to the Gingham Paper Pack number two and did these tiny little prints of the 
looks like a coral and that purple and that teal color. When she cut around those, use those little scissors, and then you can just use the little sanding block and go around that, and it just makes that paper fit perfectly. And then she inked those edges just a little bit with the gray, and then she used a couple of gray cutting dies here. This one is the Happy Easter cutting die from Hot Off the Press. She did that out of purple or lavender. And then we've got a whole little cute set of bunnies and more bunnies, also from Hot Off the Press. She used this little guy right here, cut him out of gray, put a cute little twine bow on him, and then she also used fluffy stuff for his little cotton tail, which I think is so adorable. This stuff we use a lot during Christmas and even Halloween. It gives you that great little puffed up. So it's a liquid that you squeeze out and you heat it with a heat gun and then it bubbles and crackles and it looks real soft and fluffy. Great stuff. Okay, this last one is a great tip about what to do. If you have a little Easter tree. Cute. So Debbie also used the little blanks again. Okay, and then we also used our little bunny stamp here. I'm hot off the press. I don't know if we can see this great. There we go. The bunny stamp. And for this, she colored the, well, first of all, she stamped on a little scrap piece of paper and made a mask. So she put that little mask, why well, she put it right here, right here on her little egg. And then she used a couple of ink colors here. This is Lagoon. And this is rainforest. And she just took her little blending brush and she just inked right around that little bunny. And she did it this way because, here we go, I'll show you that. It's going to leave that little image. Then you just use your little stamping platform and you go ahead and stamp your bunny, and that way you can color your bunny and not have it have that same background. So it's a great little masking technique there and for coloring oh i should mention this is double-sided look at that isn't that so cute so for coloring she used these great tri-blend markers um, for her bunny she is iced gray and then she colored his little bow in with green turquoise blend and then used citrus blend which is, we have two citrus blends. Um, one is a citrus green, and this one just a citrus blend, so it's very yellow. And then pale pink shades and dusty purple blend. And then she went back to that little green turquoise right here on her butterfly. So cute. So wouldn't that be cute, Oliver? All, all of these would be adorable on an Easter tree as well. I should mention too, she used these glimmer ribbons to top off. All right, so I wanted to um, tell you guys we have a great money saver on this little collection. And um, if you're watching us on paperwishes.com, you would just look on the right-hand side, and the money saver is listed there. And if you're watching us on YouTube, then our money, I'm going to put a link below the video to take you to paperwishes.com, to the vlog page, so you'll see the a money saver, you'll see the photo gallery uh, with pictures and supply lists for all this. You also have the drop down menu where you can like find each item if you want to buy one or two of things. And um, if you like this video, consider subscribing because we do three to five a week. And if you don't subscribe, you might miss something. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.